May 26, 2000, a school hallway, a lone person walking. Another person appears, and in an instant, one was dead, the other in custody for killing middle school teacher Barry Gruno. The killer, then 13-year-old Nathaniel Brazil, a student in Gruno's class. Today, Brazil is 24 and has served 11 years of a 28-year prison sentence for killing Bruno. He is currently at Hardy Correctional Institute, east of Sarasota. I've had a pretty good life planned out for me prior to coming here. Things changed, though, when Brazil misbehaved and Bruno tossed him out of class on that last day of school. The youngster went home and came back with a gun. What was I thinking? I was carrying a gun. It was something that I did made me feel, I guess, big or powerful. Today, he is inmate W16443. Well, there is so much that, that is missed. The freedom to you know, live your own life, the freedom to decide for yourself. That is, I would say that's one of the greatest things I miss most is the, the freedom to do what I want when I want. Day start at 5.30 and Brazil says he's in bed by 9.30. He says he never forgets how he ended up here. I have to sit with that on my conscience each and every day. A court order prohibits Brazil from contacting Pam Gruno or the family, but if he could... I would ask for her forgiveness. Do you think they believe you're sincere? I hope they do. I don't know any other way to show that I'm sorry other than to say it. He's received his GED and a paralegal certificate while in prison and now works in the library on legal matters, pondering a criminal justice system that treated a child as an adult in a murder case. Are you suggesting that the punishment shouldn't be this severe? For me, I would say no, it shouldn't because I look at it from the standpoint as you just pointed out. At the time I was 13, I was a child. As for how long his sentence should be. I'll leave for someone else to decide. But I do believe that, you know, 28 year sentence, I believe that my punishment was a bit severe. When it comes down to a criminal matter, we decide, okay, all the distinctions between the child and the adult are no longer there. Brazil has filed a lawsuit claiming his civil rights were violated in prison when he was transferred by authorities and put in solitary confinement, which he says were in retaliation for filing another lawsuit. Is there a problem with Nathaniel and rules? No, I have never been in violation of the rule. Where do we draw the line and say, hey, this is the rules, these, this is the law, this is what's expected of both inmates and our prison officials. He says he emphasizes rules when his little sister, now in middle school, visits. Listens to what my grandmother tells to do, obey the teachers and behave herself. Keeping an eye on his outdate. For the next 16 years, 8 months and 20 days, I will... I asked how he sees his life after that. I will maybe in law school or attending night school classes in 23 years from now. And he hopes people will say these things about Nathaniel Brazil. He's a great person. You know, he's cheerful and he's always uplifting. He's there to lend a uh, helping hand whenever, I, whenever they've needed me. You know, I'm someone that's reliable and trustworthy, someone that they can depend on and count on, someone who holds himself, I hold myself accountable. We talked for about 45 minutes, and one of the things we talked about was the challenges of adapting to life outside prison when he's released. And Brazil said he is 110% sure that his getting in trouble again, in his words, is unimaginable. He said it won't happen, and it can't happen. Nathaniel Brazil will be 40 years old when he's released from prison. And I do want to mention that I did speak to Pam Gruno, Barry Gruno's widow, and Mrs. Gruno did not want to speak on camera, but has remained classy and dignified through all of this. Oh, how painful, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. It's a, a, an incredible interview, Roxanne. He mentioned in that interview 16 years and eight months, that's how much he's got left on his prison term here. Is there any chance he could get on parole? Well, he can't be paroled, so what he has done, he can't get out for good behavior. He has appealed to the Clemency Commission, which is a panel, an executive commission in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. They could possibly reduce that sentence. It, very few of them are ever reduced. It mm -hmm. seldom happens, but he has made an appeal, and they're terrifically backlogged, so it'll be a long time until it's heard. All right, Roxanne, thank you very much. Thank you, Roxanne. Indeed.